right y'all so i'm here as you can tell from the title of the video and i'm not even sure if i'm gonna even load this video but i want to talk about um last week's episode of catfish where and just for the record i just started watching catfish like i saw the episodes here and there it was kind of interesting but you know i recently just got into it so you know as far as recording it and you know trying to catch it you know the latest episodes or whatever but anyway so this girl thinks she was talking to bow wow all this time you know online or whatever she says she was a fan of his for you know since she was a little girl and then you know she hit him up on facebook or she said something on facebook and he responded you know according to her she thought it was him and i'm sitting here like why would he respond to you like <laughs> you're not his only fan for one like he is famous and i know you know stuff happens i know sometimes people's dreams come true and stuff like that but really facebook he's messaging you or whatever anyway according to her she thought that he sent her ten thousand dollars um, saying that he wanted to help out with her career and all this other stuff. And so that's what, you know, really made her believe that that was him. Because who sends that amount of money to somebody? So, the whole episode, I was sitting here, until even up until the end, I was like, that's not Bow Wow. <laughs> that's not Bow Wow, Shad Moss, or whatever the hell. It's just not him. Like, it's not possible. I didn't believe for a minute that that was him. And it was crazy, because in the episode... She even still believed that it was him up until they got to his house. And I'm like, so you think that Bow Wow is going to have a house that you could just drive up to and knock on the door? Like, I'm quite sure this boy, man, he's a man now, lives in some kind of gated community where it's not that easy to come up and knock on his door or you know what I'm saying or anything like that and just it's just crazy that this this child and I'm gonna call her a child because only children really um believe stuff like that and it's just it's nuts like I'm not even gonna lie then again I, I can't really say that because I've I spoke to a lot of celebrities um via Facebook but this was like back when you know Facebook just started getting popping and I was going back and forth talking to a couple of celebrities like I have a couple of celebrities on my Facebook I um have spoken with uh Kwame and I still you know I don't speak to him like message back and forth but we're like in groups together and or um instagram or something like that and i'll talk to him kwame if you don't know who he is he's like the guy that had all the polka dots and the crazy haircuts and all of that stuff back in the day so he's real he's a real celebrity he's like one of those people that's behind the scenes like he produces and makes beats and all of that stuff so you won't really hear from him like that no more but anyway um i spoke to him uh swiss beats i've, I've talked to him before um, and this is like in a room, like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody will say something in a room or he'll say good morning or something like that. And people will, you know, respond, they'll comment and he has, you know, commented back or whatever. Like it's just stuff like that. But I've never had a celebrity message back and forth like that. I don't believe, I don't think that's really, ever, no, I never really did. Just in a comment room, like, they'll tag me in a comment or whatever, um, stuff like that. Chris Brown, Cassandra, Cassie, Cassandra, whatever you want to call her, um, she's one of them. Like, these are just people that you, you're not going to get that type of one-on-one -on -one conversation with folks. So, for her to actually think that her and Bow Wow exchange phone numbers... Like, why would he do that? You are typically, like, a fan. Why would he give a fan the phone number? It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. I mean, maybe she just wanted to believe that so bad that she was just, like, convinced that that was him. And then to come to find out, and this is a spoiler, so whoever didn't see it yet, I'm about to spoil it, so you might want to turn this off. 
Then it come to find out it was a girl. <laughs> when the catfish crew Nev knocked on her door, on on Bow Wow's door, it was a girl. A girl came to the door, and I was like, "Wow!" And this chick actually was dead serious, thinking that she could turn this straight girl that loves Bow Wow, that thought she was talking to a boy, into a lesbian. And the girl was crying. She was like, oh, "I'm not a lesbian. How could you do this to me? I'm not gay, you know, whatever." And it was just crazy, the, the the arrogance of this chick that actually did all of this stuff to create this fake profile and trying to reel this girl in with $10,000 is beyond me. Like, I couldn't believe I, what I was watching. I was just, my mouth was open for one because, of course, I knew it wasn't Bow Wow, but then for it to be a girl, <laughs> oh, that's crazy to me. That's so crazy. And then she was just so... It's like she didn't even, she wasn't even really sorry what she did, you know, about what she did. And it was like, where would you get the $10,000 from? Everybody was like, where they want to know where you got it from. She took them out, oh, I made the money through music, you know, my music pays and da 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 What it boiled down to was she was borrowing the money from friends. And I guess she gathered up about $10,000 and mailed it to the girl. And I'm like, friends and family lent your ass $10,000 like a total of ten thousand dollars and what do you do with it you mail it to some girl you don't even know like seriously and then the girl i got the ten thousand dollars i'm seeing all over the comments i'm seeing her people saying stuff like oh you got this ten thousand dollars and you couldn't get a decent weave and i'm like but from watching the show i gather well from what she said is she basically um, helped out her family members with the money like it didn't all go to her you know it went to her daughter she saved some she said she saved most of it um she helped out her aunt that she's living with, with car payments you know um mortgage i think she said mortgage payments and all this other stuff and i'm sitting there like mm. Mm. <laughs> ten thousand dollars Mm. Let me get online real quick because I need ten thousand. I need for somebody to to act like they're a celebrity and send me ten thousand dollars. You won't get that shit back, trust. But I, I mean, I'm just joking. But I wouldn't even take it because that's that's crazy to me. Like ten thousand dollars, like really, who does that? But anyway, I just wanted to share. Like I thought it was crazy. Like this this girl really, 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 truly believed that this is bow wow. I mean. Why? Why would you think that? What 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 is going on in your head to make you think that you're actually speaking to a celebrity? Like these celebrities have fan pages for a reason. A lot of them do have real pages, and if you're lucky, you're on one of their real pages. But they're not gonna really correspond with you back and forth, not through no messenger, let alone exchange phone numbers. Like. Really? And do you read the tabloids? Do you not see who Bow Wow is in a relationship with? And and then she was like, oh, she was saying, what she was saying? Um, that every time she wanted to Skype him or something like that, he always said it was a bad connection. And I'm like, <laughs> you didn't have to call the show Catfish to figure out that that was, like, bogus. That was just, like, stupid. And you should have just cut it off from the, from the jump. I mean, really? Bow Wow, if he was that into you, and he has money, you know, I don't believe that he's broke. I mean, he has a job, he works at 106 in Park. Regardless of the pay, he still paid. I'm sure if he really, you know, wanted to meet you and wanted to have a relationship with you from all of the stuff that you guys were saying back and forth via text message and email, quite sure he would have sent the limo or plane ticket for you to come see him. You know, it, it wouldn't have dragged out that long if he was really that into you. So, yeah, if any of you teenagers or children or even adults are watching this and you really believe that you are going back and forth with a celebrity, you might want to um, do your own homework. Like, it's really not hard. The stuff that Catfish did to figure out, you know, that that wasn't him wasn't hard at all to do. So, yeah. I gotta go, because it's going on 10 minutes, and I'm just blabbing about this episode, and I couldn't believe it. But anyway, yeah, watch Catfish. It comes on MTV. I don't know the times, because I got it set on my DVR, but yeah, 
I'll be watching the show a lot because it's really interesting and actually it's funny. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs> ah.